Hi guys, so this is going to be luxury designer items that I will be selling on my Mercari and I will list my Mercari down below and if you mention that you're subscribed to me or you subscribe to me, leave a comment, you will get 10% off of your purchase. And so these are all designer makeup, um, designer fashion items um, that I will be selling on my Mercari. I've got Louis Vuitton, Carl Lagerfeld, Steve Madden, um, Tory Burch, Bandolino, um, a lot of good brands. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And let's just jump into the items I will be listing on my Mercari. And I hope you guys are excited because a lot of these items are super, super nice, but I just don't have room for them in my collection at this time. So uh, get that 10% off discount for the winter and I'm going to jump right in. So I'm going to start out with this Louis Vuitton wallet. This is in one of their colorful prints. I bought it new, I've used it a few times, just not really wanting it anymore. Honestly, it is super, super nice. As you can see, it's got that Louis Vuitton right here. Beautiful, really good quality leather, as you know, from Louis Vuitton. Opens up, we've got the logo right here. And all these are authentic, of course, and empty for credit cards, big, large amount of space for cash and stuff, another area for credit cards so this will be on my Mercari and I'm not going to list any of the prices right now because um, they'll all be down there and also on Mercari you can kind of I guess bargain in a way as well as a 10% off discount so this is the first item I will be listing and it's already on there right now to purchase a beautiful Louis Vuitton wallet so next is this is a small Louis Vuitton. I think this is called the Azul print. I'm not really sure on the print names, but yeah, it is um, like a mini speedy bag and you can make it smaller or bigger. It has that beautiful design for coming up summer and spring, but overall you can wear this in the winter as well. It's wonderful Louis Vuitton quality. The inside is super nice. We've got that beautiful print. Um, got a zipper right here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Louis Vuitton items just kind of speak for themselves and I will be listing that down below to check out as well. So we have the Louis Vuitton wallet, we have the Louis Vuitton mini Speedy in that um, Azul print and I'm going to have one more Louis Vuitton item listed as well. Just, kid just kidding, I have two more Louis Vuitton items. I love Louis Vuitton. So this is a mini, I think it's called the mini Ponchette. Don't quote me on that. I'll have all the details obviously down below. And this is in the original Louis Vuitton print. And this is great as a makeup bag. It's super, super clean inside. You can put makeup in here. Um, also, it can be a really cute clutch as well. You can just have it as a clutch. It's like small to medium size. It can hold a lot more than it looks. Has that really good quality, super like thick leather. Uh, this will last forever. That's why they resell so well. Um, has that zipper. Um, on there. Don't really know how to describe things. I'm not the best salesperson, to be honest. I just want to show you guys the items in person because I get a lot of questions about people wanting to see the inside and the side. So I feel like if I can redirect them to this video, then they can see um, everything about the product before they purchase. So that is what it looks like. I'll show you guys the inside one more time. So this would be a great makeup bag or just a clutch in general. It can hold your phone, it can hold makeup, it can hold um, a wallet. So really good size for travel and just going out in general. N next is the super cute Louis Vuitton, I guess, hipster or I guess it can be a clutch as well. So there are two chain options. I have this black chain I will send as well for going out at night. And then there's this gold chain so you can wear it across your body. It's a cross body. And it has this really, really cute, unique pink design. I'm pretty sure this is limited edition and not sold anymore. So it has the original Louis Vuitton print and has a zipper right here. So you can fit, um, actually can fit, goes pretty deep. So you can probably fit your phone in there. Uh, the inside is really nice. So you can fit your wallet, you can fit your phone, got the Louis Vuitton logo as well as um, good quality leather. And so what I tend to do is I'll just wear it as a 
um, I, I just sometimes will wear without a chain. I'll just wear it as like, a, what's it called? Uh, like a clutch with me when I go out because I can just wear it, put it on my, around my wrist. Um, or I can wear it as a crossbody if I so desire. So um, this one will be on the Mercari, my Mercari as well. Super cute, feminine, beautiful Louis Vuitton. So that's the last of Louis Vuitton stuff. Just wanted to get that out of the way because I know that's probably the most popular brand that people are interested in, but I have a lot more goodies coming as well. Next is this, this Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. It's super cute for New Year's, the holidays. It opens like this and just got a lot of space here for a wallet, Rebecca Minkoff. Um, I think it's this leather and it's a, it's like a gold and it's really, really pretty. Um, it has a kind of like a chain slash um, leather uh, like chain, I guess. And uh, so yeah, you can um, adjust it for your size. You want longer, shorter. And yeah, just super cute. Recommend golf crossbody, really cute for going out. So really adorable. Next, we have this Kate Spade. I know this is really bright, especially in the winter, but I mean, summer is coming, so might as well get that discount. This is um, Kate Spade and it's bright yellow, super cute for spring and summer, really long uh, chain and you can also adjust it as well. Um, lots of space here. So you can put something here, you can put something in here, just a lot of space. So if you're on the go or you know you just have a lot of items, this is really good for that as well as it's not too heavy at all. And I just think it's super cute, unique color. Uh, I'm not sure if th this is sold anymore. I'm pretty sure it's not. And it has that Kate Spade little thing attached to it. You can put it inside if you want. So yeah, this will be on my Mercari as well. Next, I have these super cute Steve Madden going out night heels. Um, they are, there's like leather on the bottom and then they have like a clasp right here. Also, I am in the size eight and a half, nine. So these are in a size eight and a half. I want to make sure. Yeah, so these are eight and a half and they clamps clasp around your ankle and they're super, super sexy, super good for any outfit. So these are Steve Madden. As you can see, they haven't been worn very often. And I have another pair of shoes from Bandolino. So these shoes are really good for work. They're super, super comfortable. They're from Bandolino and they have a kitten heel. Um, and they're just like extremely comfortable. They're also, th these are in a size nine. Yeah, so I even have the sticker on the bottom still. Yeah, so these are in a size nine and I just, if you're wanting something for work that's super cute, I would definitely recommend them because they're really, really comfortable and they just fit around your feet so, so well, but I've only worn them a few times and I work from home so really no point having these shoes but they're super super comfortable so and they're really really cute hey guys so this is going to be a review of some new palettes i've picked up i picked up the color pop powerpuff girls palette out of nostalgia i've also picked up the totally plastic um this is like the contour and brighton powders from BH Cosmetics. So this is a face powder. I also picked up the Essence Hello Berlin eyeshadow palette. So this is like greens and neutrals, has really good reviews. Um, I also picked up the Patrick Ta new blush palette with the creams and the powders as well. I'll do it. I'm gonna review all these for you in this video. A really exciting one is I picked up the Melt uh, Amour, I don't know what it's called, but it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with butterflies and this packaging is amazing. I love this palette, little sneak peek. Also, please like and subscribe uh, and hit that bell. Also picked up the Melt Cosmetics blush palette. And also I've never tried anything from Melt like ever, like literally not, never. So I don't know if this quality is different than like their other palettes. I've heard mixed reviews. Like some are like 
get mushy and like get destroyed and then of course there's some that are really really good but I really really like these so far so I'm gonna review that and I think that's pretty much it for palettes wise um, but yeah, I'm going to review all this real quick for you guys. So once again, please like and subscribe and just keep watching. Like, so I'm going to start out with the face palettes. And this is the Totally Plastic Face Palette from BH Cosmetics. And this is the collab with Iggy Azalea. And I have picked up the lip gloss and I picked up the lip gloss one shade, which is like a pink. And I picked up... What else have I picked up? Oh, I picked up an eyeshadow palette as well. So this is like one of the things I wanted as well. There's three of them and I picked up one eyeshadow palette and I think this is the only base palette and it doesn't have a mirror, but it's also on sale. So that's a big part of why I picked it up, but I can never get too many banana powders for underneath my eyes, setting my eyes. Um, I will say that the packaging is obviously really cheap, but it's also a really cheap product, limited edition. Um, I just think it's okay. I wouldn't like say it's the best quality. It's pretty powdery underneath my eyes. And so it does like end up creasing underneath there. So I definitely would not recommend this. Um, I just am a big fan of Iggy Azalea and I feel like this would be fine like on the go, but I have a lot of banana powders I like a lot more. But I also wasn't expecting a lot from BH Cosmetics due to how cheap it is and this was on sale. Um, I, will, I will say that the lip gloss is probably better and the eyeshadow palette I like a lot more than this palette. So um, this is just so-so. I mean if you like it, pick it up. But it's pretty powdery, not gonna lie. And I don't want to put too many powdery things underneath my eyes because it's gonna make me look older and tired. So. I would say just skip on that if you are interested. Next is the ColourPop um, Powerpuff Girls palette. And I picked this up because I am a huge Powerpuff Girls fan. This is what I watched when I was a little kid. And this is what I have on my eyes right now. So I kind of created like a Christmas look using it. And I got to say that it's pretty good. It's definitely not a neutral palette. So if you're more into colors, I think you'll like this. I've used the pink. Um, I pretty much use every color in here besides the blue. No, actually I did. I used this on my lower lash line. I say the quality is really good. It has a really nice mirror. Cute. Um, I haven't really used the glitters too much. Yeah, I haven't used the glitters because I don't really like glitters. But I got to say I really like the shade Crime Fighting for a blending shade. And I really love this shade right here, which is what I have on my lower lash line. This is called Chemical X. This one really blew me away. It's just super pigmented and like looks so good underneath the eyes. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this shade. And I gotta say the quality is really, really nice. The pink is really pigmented. This blends out really well. Um, I think it's, this is an overall really nice palette and I would definitely recommend picking it up because you can create neutral look. You can create a colorful look. But yeah, I've actually played with every single color in here and all of them are good quality. If you're a big Powerpuff Girls fan like I am, I don't think this was a disappointment at all. I think they really incorporated, you know, every single color that represents Powerpuff Girls. So that's actually a good, you know, I thought it was a really good collab. And the quality is really, really nice. So I really am enjoying this palette. Next is the Melt Blush palette. So I just was blown away by the packaging. Once again, I've never tried anything from Melt before and I gotta say that this is really pigmented um there's like a few beige shades and so I played with all of these I do think that like these shades over here are a bit lackluster um I definitely like the eyeshadow palette way more than I like the blush palette so if you have to choose between the two I recommend picking up the eyeshadow palette which I'm going to talk about in a little bit because this one's just okay I feel like the quality is not like that astounding for the price. I feel like you're really paying for the packaging. So I would skip on this blush palette. But the eyeshadow palette, guys, first of all, the packaging outside is really, really unique. And I want to try more things from Melt now because I'm just like blown away. First of all, it's so much fun to play with these colors. And it's just so beautiful. When I saw it in store, I was like, I have to pick this up. Um, 
So I've played with this purple right here. These are such beautiful glitters. They really do stay on the eye. And there's just like so many beautiful looks. There's like a green look, then there's like neutrals. This red is absolutely amazing. Um, I use this red right here on my eye. Uh, this palette is definitely worth the money. It's just like pure pigment, but like blends like a dream. These glitters are so beautiful. Yeah, this is amazing. Also, it comes with a huge mirror, which I'm a huge fan of. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking up this palette. Um, I played, once again, a lot with these greens and they're super nice. It's just like such a fun palette to pick up and play with because I feel like every single color in here is just such good quality. And if there's greens, reds, purples, neutral colors, really great palette. I feel like they, I would give this palette an A. Like they knocked it out of the park with the packaging, the quality, and the shade selection is just 10 out of 10. So this is like a 10 out of 10 and I'd give this like a six out of 10. I would give the Powerpuff Girls like an eight out of 10. And this I would give like a five out of 10, like it's fine, but it's nothing special. Um, and then I have picked, I picked up the Essence Hello Berlin eyeshadow palette. So these are like the new palettes from Essence that everyone keeps talking about and how, saying that they're like high end quality. And I think there's a lot of others. I'm not sure. I just picked up this one because I love greens. Um, I have to say that I've mostly played with these underneath, to smudge underneath my eyes. And I really, really love it. I'm surprised I haven't played with the neutral shades as much. But I feel like the shimmers are just like, okay. Um, definitely if you're on a budget, this would be a really, really good palette to start. It definitely reminds me of Morphe in that way. Um, but I am really impressed with these matte shades down here. And once again, like this is really, really affordable. Comes with a mirror. Um, but once again, like comparing this to this palette, this the quality in here is just absolutely amazing. Like I would say that, I mean, this is just pure pigment and it blends so, so well. Of course, this one is a lot more expensive, but I feel like you get every color you possibly would need in the melt palette. So this is just okay compared to that. Um, this is just basically either a neutrals look or like a green olive look so kind of like limited in your choices but I like these colors down below for smudging underneath the eyes because they're like a really good dark green that that looks good like for brown eyes so I would I would rate this like a six out of ten the quality is good um you know just nothing really innovative or crazy and the shimmers are just average the Patrick Chaw palette was sold out for so long and I used to own two of these individual shades, but um, they went bad. But I used them a lot, so I was really looking forward to getting this. This was like sold out forever. Like I kept checking the site over and over and over again. And so when it was finally in stock, I was like, bye. Um, so there's like a bright pink, then there's like a bright red, and then there's like a brown. I do have to say that like these shades are super bright and they're super pigmented. Like you have to go extremely light. I'm not like obsessed with the color choices here. Like I'm not like a bright baby pink blush lover. I'm more like a orangey burnt blush lover. Like I feel like this can kind of make you look like a clown if you don't like take it easy. But yeah, once again, like a little goes a long way. I actually like the cream formula more than I like the powder formula, which is pretty rare. Um, I just think the cream formula in Patrick Ta's blush is just like super, super awesome. Even if you have normal to oily skin, like it stays. I don't feel like it's necessary to put the powder on top because then you look like a clown. Just really easy to look like a clown with this palette, which kind of sucks. I feel like I wish that they had picked different colors. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm not that impressed with the colors. Like this is insanely bright. So you, you just need like a touch, but it'll last you forever. Um... Yeah, I just feel like it's so easy to go overboard and just look like a clown. So I'm not like that obsessed with the color choices, but I do think that the formula is what I expect because I already know these blushes are amazing. The colors are She's a Doll, She's Vibrant, and She's Baked. And I'm pretty sure these are all new blush shades, but um, I would recommend just picking up the individual singles, like the... Um, I think it's like she's that girl and all the others like I think I would just pick the shade that you want and instead of like opting for the blush palette because I feel like these are really unless you're like a huge baby pink 
blush lover or you're like love red um I just feel like this th these are a little bit too pigmented for my liking because I feel like I just go in too heavy-handed and have to like blend it out so just letting you know this is extremely pigmented and what's weird is I actually like the creams more than I like the powders which almost never happens so that's my review of the all these palettes I would I would rate this probably a 6.5 out of 10 for a color choice and just the fact that it's like kind of hard to use and um not obsessed with the colors which I don't even know why I bought it I just love the I love the formula so so much maybe when I play with it a little bit more I can get it down but I feel like like in five minutes I look like a clown so I rate that a 6.5 out of 10 so the stars of the show is definitely the melt palette I will definitely be doing looks with this it's just so easy to create a beautiful look and I love the Powerpuff Girls Colourpop palette which I'm really surprised because I did not think that I would use like such a colorful palette but it's actually really versatile and I just feel like this look is super beautiful and I would skip out on the Melt Blush palette just kind of meh quality cute really beautiful packaging though um, I would I don't know I feel like it's kind of up to you if you want to get the Patrick Ta I feel like it's just the individuals are better the Essence palette is good for sure I just feel like it's um doesn't really blow me away but once again it is affordable like way cheaper than the melt and um, this I would just pass on so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and join the family love you guys so so much and hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at bye